I've got some spare Kydex laying around after making a, a holster and I decided that I want to try to make some torque compensating lamelles for my paramotor. I really don't like the price or the design of the ones that mount to the net. Um, I think it would be a better idea to have something that attaches to the spars. So I'm going to use this paper template, put it on the Kydex, trace it out, use my jigsaw and cut it out. And then I will heat up the Kydex and I'll probably just use this piece here um, to form it, get it wrapped around there. And then, so here's the Kydex cut out with the jigsaw. I'm just going to heat up this uh, straight edge here and wrap it around the carbon spar. And well, my original plan didn't work. It's very hard to get a smooth, consistent roll, even using the piece of the spar, uh, heating this stuff evenly and wrapping it around. Maybe if I had an oven that I didn't care about, I could put it in there and get the whole thing a uniform temperature and then take it out. But I'm using a heat gun. So I'm gonna scrap this plan and I'm going to make a rolled piece that's about half the size. And then I'm going to notch out holes on this side where I can run some big zip ties through and wrap that around the spar and see if that's tight enough to uh, keep. I think this is gonna work a lot better. I got a flathead screwdriver and heated up the tip with a uh, propane torch and used that to press in these notches uh, since getting a saw or anything in there would have been too difficult just coming into the flat surface, uh, not coming from the edge. And then I just use these sacrificial zip ties for now. I'm going to use bigger, stronger ones later. And I zip tied the spar to the Kydex and then heated it up with the heat gun and got it curved around this piece of spar and tightened down the zip ties to try to make it a little more uniform. And it feels, feels pretty tight. So I'm gonna cut off these uh, yellow zip ties and I'm gonna use the big ones that I intended to use and put it on my frame and see how much resistance I can put on this before it starts to slip and turn. Hopefully I can get it tight enough to where it stays stationary um, and the airflow from the prop won't just turn it like that. And so the wind's still a little stiff, but you know, I can't wait till the weather's perfect. The wind was perfect this morning, but it was 20 something degrees. So I'm going to try out the uh, homemade torque fins, see if it improves my straight um, path as I'm climbing when I've got the motor running full speed. And I'm also going to try out my um, wireless Bluetooth synced to my Insta360 1R camera. Man, the wind is inconsistent. It keeps dying down to almost nothing and then gusting up pretty stiff. So we'll see what happens. Also, this is probably the coldest I've tried to run the motor. Uh, so hopefully the carb settings are all good. Felt pretty good. Let's see what's going to happen here. I don't know if I'm going to go reverse or forward. Yeah, I think it's going to be a reverse. I think those torque fins work. 
normally I gotta do some heavy weight shift and pull some brake on my launch. But on that one, I just went straight. Nice straight line. That's amazing. Two little pieces of the Kydex. I am curious though, one of them seems to be a little close to uh, my exhaust. And I'm wondering how soft it's going to get on the tip. I don't know if that's enough heat to make it start getting soft. But since I only put two on, I can easily move it to one of my other spars. I built one on each side because I thought that that would just look better and possibly be more balanced. But I don't know if it's necessary to have them equidistant or spaced out on other sides because some of the ones that they sell that mount to your net you can see that they just kind of put them up on one side they don't go all the way around let's climb again I yawed to the right a little bit that time, but uh, I'll check it when I get down and, and see if maybe the uh, airspeed straight the fin out so that it's not having as much of an effect. I used double-sided tape to try to get to stay stationary at the angle that I put it on, but I don't know if that's going to be strong enough or not. Cruise downland here. I don't know if it's still dove season or not. I don't see any dove hunters today. I like the way my mother's running. I got a little nervous when it was hard to start. But it also hasn't been running in weeks. Like I said, the weather's just been garbage. I wonder where that balloon plans on setting down. That climb was pretty straight. I didn't have to use brakes at all. I just lifted my right leg just a tad. Oh, the balloon's going back up. in a ditch. Oh, coming in hard. Yeah, I sink right down like a rock. Come on, Wayne, go down. I guess I could just stand here and kite for a while. Alrighty, let's see how that sound works out. Oh, check these fins too, as soon as I 
get this thing off my back. Oh, holy smokes. Oh, oh man, that scared me. <laughs> I was looking straight on at the spar, like completely straight on. And the fin was behind it. I didn't see it. I thought that it flew through my prop. But no, it's still there. And it looks like it's still placed at the same angle that I connected it at. So I'm going to leave them on there. It felt good to me. That, that one climb, it seemed to still be going a little bit to the right. But that might have just been some kind of crosswind or something. Um, on my initial launch, man, it flew great. Flew nice and straight. I didn't have to counter the torque at all. So I'll call that a win.